guys welcome back to my channel so today's video as you guys can see by the title we are going to be talking about how to deal with an aggressive gecko if you guys enjoyed this video discussing aggressive geckos feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell now this video isn't exactly going to be like a how-to guide or a tips and tricks to like get your gecko to stop biting because I haven't even figured out how to get Bodhi to stop biting. But regardless, I thought that I would just make a sit down video updating you guys on Bodhi, how he's doing right now, if he's still biting or not, or lunging at me or not. Just to tell you guys some of the things that I've been doing to try and minimize his attacking me, minimize his stress, and how I've been dealing with all of it. I know when I posted the video of taking Bodhi to the vet last week, you guys were very receptive. You were very sweet about it. You were very understanding. And a lot of you guys actually said that you're all having very similar problems with your geckos. I had a handful of you say that your geckos attack you from time to time. Some of you also said that it's particularly this type of year that it may be mating season or something like that. So I wanted to kind of shed some light on everything that I've kind of researched and learned and heard from you guys and then been experiencing myself. Honestly, I don't have all the answers and obviously I'm not a professional on geckos or anything like that, but this has just been a very weird thing that Bodhi is personally going through. And it's something that I'm kind of just trying to figure out, work through and hoping that he gets over. So if you guys did see the video where I did take Bodhi to the vet, then you guys already know a little bit of the backstory with what's been going on with Bodhi. About three weeks ago now, I think it's been about three weeks, he just started attacking me every time I would go to his cage, even from the outside, not opening the door, not feeding him or spraying him or anything, he would just lunge at the glass. So you can imagine how feeding him and spraying him was going, he just started attacking me. So as you guys know from that previous video, which if you guys haven't seen the vet video, I will leave it for you linked down in the description below. So obviously because Bodhi was acting out and attacking me and then every time I would try to go feed him, he would bite me and he was actually drawing blood, like in true little Bodhi gator form, drawing blood. And of course, I've had him for over a year, so this is very out of the blue. It was very unlike him. I've never had him bite me like this, not since the first day I got him. Now, a year ago when I got him, he was aggressive then as well. However, it only lasted a couple days, and he has not bitten me since. So I was really alarmed. I was like, this is really out of nowhere. And then therein was the last video where I decided to take him to the vet just to rule out anything wrong. So I guess if there was a tip that I could tell you guys is that if you have a reptile, especially like a gecko or anything like that that is starting to be aggressive out of nowhere you do always want to rule out an internal problem i've had people tell me and also in my research people have said that sometimes animals can be very aggressive and lash out if they're feeling vulnerable like because they're in pain or if they're internally something is wrong they could have a mass anything that could be wrong inside of them it could cause them to want to lash out in defense if they are feeling vulnerable or like they're dying or something like that so that's always something to remember if you have an animal that is in pain i definitely recommend taking it to a vet i did take Bodhi to the vet i did get x-rays i'll put those on the screen again for you guys even if you already saw that video but basically, I just wanted to rule out anything like a growth, a mass, a fracture, and anything. I wanted to rule out neurological problems because obviously that is something else that could have been going on. But basically, after I took Bodhi to the vet and we ruled out any injuries, there was no stuck shed on any of his toes. He didn't have any masses. But neurologically speaking, it didn't look like there was anything wrong with him. And his eyes were also very reactive to the light. So obviously, they ruled out blindness. It really didn't seem like any of those things were the issue. And basically, that only leaves a couple of options for why he's had this massive behavioral change and he's become so aggressive. And it could basically just be hormonal and moody. Which, yes, that's best case scenario that it may be a temporary hormonal imbalance or maybe he's just aggressive because it's mating season right now which all signs are pointing to that obviously after the vet had ruled out everything else but that is best case scenario right I mean you really don't want there to be anything internally wrong with them or have stuck shed on their toes or have neurological issues so I guess this is best case scenario but it still does suck it sucks that Bodhi is attacking me and I don't know how long this is gonna last I did see quite a few comments of you guys saying that it may only last a few weeks maybe a month or two at most so I'm hoping that it will be over very soon now to be completely honest and open I have not tried to touch Bodhi since the day of the vet appointment so it's been about a week now so I don't actually know if he's still aggressive or if he will still lunge at me because I have not been going near his enclosure at nighttime I've been changing his food out during the day as well as I haven't attempted to touch him hold him get him out or anything I don't actually know if he's still completely aggressive and that's another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about 
some of the measures that I've been going through to kind of diminish the stress on Bodhi and everything that's been going on with this whole situation. So one of the first things that I did is I started keeping a blanket over Bodhi's enclosure. If you guys can see, I have my horse blanket over his enclosure right now. That is because it is daylight and I'm trying to give him as much privacy and sleep as possible so he can't see me, he can't see the cats, he can't see really anything going on outside in the room. So I've been keeping him covered for about the past two and a half weeks. I would say I covered him probably the first week it started happening. And while covering him up, I haven't obviously seen any improvement with his behavior, especially if it's hormonal. A blanket isn't gonna get that to go away. But I will say that I do think that it's cut down on my stress at least because Seeing him lunge at the glass is no fun. I don't like it and I just wanted to kind of eliminate that as something that he's been doing. So in that sense, it has been helping because he's not lunging at the glass if he can't see me. So if you have an aggressive gecko at home and your gecko is lunging at the glass or anything like that for any reason, obviously take him to the vet. But then another suggestion I have is just putting a blanket over their enclosure, even if it's just for the day or even if you wanna do it at night while they're awake, just to keep them from being able to see you or anything else in the room. I think that really is helping. Another thing that I've been doing with Bodhi is leaving him alone. Now I know I mentioned the blanket, but I've also not been attempting to to touch him, hold him, get him out or anything. Since this very first started, um, the first week that he started lunging at me, I did try to sort of hand tame him for the first three days. I thought maybe there was a chance that I hadn't been holding him enough. I know that it had been a couple of weeks since I had actually gotten him out and like held him and let him walk on me and stuff. So I thought maybe he just forgot who I am or something, you know, I don't know. So I did get him out for about the first three days that he started attacking me and I will tell you, it did not help at all. In fact, I think it just made him madder at me. I mean, it was crazy. He just did not want to be held. He didn't want to see me, nothing. So after the first three days of being bitten by trying to kind of hand tame him again, I did stop that. I didn't touch him anymore. And I realized that it wasn't a hand taming issue. It must be something else, which led me to taking him to the vet and so on. So if hand taming is not an issue and your gecko was completely hand tamed prior to them just lashing out at you, just remember it could be hormonal or it could be something internal. So those are my two suggestions to you. If there is something wrong with your gecko and it's biting you and attacking you out of nowhere, if it was completely fine before, then your situation may be very similar to mine. And yeah, it could just be hormonal or a mood change or something like that. So it is always an option. So those are all the things that I've pretty much been doing. I've just been giving Bodhi his space. I've been leaving him covered. I already took him to the vet. And honestly, beyond that, there's not really anything else I can physically do to make him love me again, <laughs> because I think it is hormonal. I really do. I think that's what it is. It must be this time of year. I was told it is mating season, so Maybe this is just something that I should expect from time to time. But I haven't tried to handle Bodhi again in over a week now, but I also haven't seen him lunge at me in the past few days. Obviously, I still feed him and water him and spray him down every day to every other day. So I did see him underneath his little tree and he has been watching me, but he hasn't been lunging at me. So it's kind of making me want to try to get him out again. And I know this is an update video and I'm kind of just telling you guys everything that's been going on for the past few weeks with him, kind of as an update to the vet video, because I know you guys have been asking me, I've seen you guys on my Instagram and on here asking me how he's doing. So I think today I may try to get him out and see if he's any better or if he's still being aggressive. And I thought maybe I would just film it for you guys and see if he will even just let me touch him at all, because I really want this hormonal stage to be over. It has been over three weeks, so. I think we're gonna give it a shot. I do have gloves just in case, but if I see him lunge at me or anything, I'm gonna stop. But I did see him out last night and he didn't lunge at me last night when he saw me near his enclosure. So I think I'm gonna give it a shot and I thought I would film it for you guys. This may go very badly. We're gonna try, we're gonna check on Bodhi and see how he is. He is still covered, so we're gonna uncover him and see if he's awake. If he's obviously asleep or I can't see him, I'm not gonna mess with him. But if he's awake, I think I'm gonna try and get him out. I see him, he sees me, he's staring at me and he's awake and I can see him sitting underneath his little tree. It's his favorite spot. So I think I am gonna try and get him out and just see if he attacks me. If he does, if he lunges, then obviously I'm done. I tried 
but I don't want to just let him hate me forever. So I do have a glove. These are my reptile and amphibian safe gloves. I think I'm going to put one on just because I'm scared. He draws blood and it really hurts. So we're going to see. How you feeling today, bud? You still mad at me? Okay, so I tried. I uncovered him. I opened the door and he started to lunge. So I closed the door back and no change. Like he's still very aggressive and still very hormonal or just mad at me. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the Bodhi update. I don't really know what else to say. I was actually really hopeful that he wasn't going to try to attack me today because I did see him awake. So I thought maybe he was like, okay with me being near so i just covered him back up and i'm just giving him his space obviously if he never comes back around which i really hope that that's not the case then that's something that i accept and it's just gonna have to be what it is and more than anything i'm just i'm sorry like i wish it wasn't this way i wish he was friendly again but i want to be honest with you guys because this is real this is like life if you guys have geckos you guys may be experiencing this and i want you to know that while it may not be normal, it also may be normal if it is hormonal. And sometimes you do get animals, whether it's a gecko, a hamster, or a snake. And sometimes they don't want to be held. Sometimes they don't want to be touched. And that's just what it is. But you love them anyway, commit to them anyway, and always keep trying and taking care of them. So yeah, that's pretty much where I guess I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to update you guys on Bodhi and how he's doing. I do have very high hopes that he will go back to that one day. I don't know how. I don't know how to get him there, but we're going to keep on trying. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that this little talk helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. If you guys have an aggressive gecko or you're having issues with a gecko, I am sorry. Just be patient. Keep trying and give them their space. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.